Yo what's up, today I'll be ranking every single boss in Lies of P from easiest to hardest, but from the POV of a new game plus 2 player, which means you have every single thing, basic, and you know their moves and weaknesses so you can take full advantage of those, so let's get started. Number 25, Puppet of the Future, pretty easy, he's pretty slow so you'll even wonder what you're doing here. Puppets are weak against electricity and you have plenty of time to electrocute this guy. These are Puppets of the Future so boys, don't get your hopes up. Number 24, Door Guardian. He's pretty slow as well, he hits hard, but for him to hit you twice you'll need to acquire Cerebral Palsy or accidentally throw your controller at the wall. His attacks are easy to dodge and you gotta break his ankles then stab his head. You can then spread liquid all over him while he's laying down. Have fun with your devious activities. Number 23, Mad Donkey. The first boss kinda. Pretty slow stalker, you can easily blow his back, then you take his mask and use it for all kinds of devious acts. Just watch out with the commentary YouTubers not to catch you, they'll get you trending for days. Number 22, Owl Doctor. Same thing, he throws knives, but you can break those break his back in hopes of reuniting with his lost wife. Number 21, Rubber Weasel. This bro has a Robin Hood complex, but we don't care. We don't give to the needy, we blow needy's backs. He jumps around, but you can dodge by walking to the sides, then spreading acid on the kid makes him realize we're not to be played with. Number 20, the Atom. She's trying to protect us from danger, but we're not in danger, we are the danger, especially for old ladies. She's slow, and even though she tries to get you covered in acid, you can do the same to her, and see how she likes it. Number 19, the Survivor. For a guy called the Survivor, he's not that good at surviving against you. One thing is certain, he likes to spam spin with his sword. But that's fuel for your perfect blocks and breaking his sword faster, so make great use of that. Number 18, Black Cat. This bro really has no luck, not only is he going blind, he's also black. After losing his sight and realizing there's no way out of the misery, he already mastered the art of blinding in with the shadows. Number 17, Red Fox. She spins around and gets annoying at times, whatever, you can deal with her, it's not that hard as number 16, White Lady. Say what you want about White Ladies, but this one is the hardest talker around. Around. She spams as hard as possible, getting to her back is harder. Um, if she was slightly larger and I had the black cat mask on, it would have been easier. Number 15, Walker of Illusion. Block some, dodge some, spread liquid and beat the clone. Easy. Number 14, Parade Master. Tutorial boss. Still the same slow moves, easy to break his weapon. He's still not corrupted, so guess he's still happy with what he earns around the circus. Number 13, Champion Victor. This guy runs around trying to knock Pinocchio down. If we were the same size, this fight wouldn't be as easy as it is. Knowing when to slash this boy is really satisfying. Just dodge, then hit until you break his stance, then drop all the acid you can so this man gets stopped even more. Number 12, King's Flame Fuaco. He's almost the same as Victor when it comes to running around, but he has the fire so he gets some extra range which doesn't really help since you know about the pillars and you can even use the nameless puppet amulet to be immune to any flames. Just block, dodge and save a ninny. Number 11, Eldest of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. This fight is not that easy but not that hard. The Eldest is easy, the brothers are easy to get their back blown. <laughs> You can deal with each younger brother as they come to the battlefield and then show them how the streets of Krat work. Number 10, Mad Clown Puppet. Again, it's harder to get here, uh, you can easily block and whatnot, the spinning is perfect to stack perfect blocks and then you get rid of bro. Wouldn't it make sense this thing came from the Parade Master's team and ended up here until number 9 Corrupted Parade Master came along. Due to losing his source of revenue and all his friends betraying him, he gave it to the dark side. He gets some scarier attacks going on, you can either use electricity or flames, I think. Still the same old parade master, but puke some zombies once in a while. Number 8, Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Fighting the three brothers at once, while you're fighting the one that got his grindstone going on, the others will respect your matchup. Occasionally they interrupt, but nothing special. Make sure to have the last two close in health so that you don't give the eldest with another guy moving around. The eldest isn't even that dangerous, just dodge some, whenever he's holding his hand he'll bust a load of Virgo so you can hide behind the trash. Other than that, he swings his sword and you can punish him like nothing. Number 7, Scrapped Watchman. The police that couldn't save the children can't save himself from another puppet thirsty for a platinum run. 
He's got electricity powers, but yours also work on him, so make sure to get pro at. Number 6, Fallen Archbishop Andrews. The bishop still got out even though that woman wanted him on top of her. Beat the creature, then get them both out. Nothing they do is really scary. Fire does wonders against these two, so have fun. Number 5, King of Puppets. Romeo isn't that hard. You can easily understand how the King of Puppets moves go, and then you can quickly break Romeo's combos and punish him. So your friend is nothing special, but still gets a high place. Number 4, a green monster of the swamp. Burn the tentacles, then burn the puppet. At this point, you probably have the block fury attack P organ upgrade, but you don't even need it since you're great at the game overall. So just get behind the puppet monster and have fun. Number 3, Simon Magnus. Pretty funny to run around this guy and get him overwhelmed, spreading acid around the guy that made our maiden suffer all this time. Just get your revenge as you would like. I also finally managed to stagger this guy on the footage, so we all win. Number 2, Nameless Puppet. Yeah, he's not harder than Laxasia, no matter what. His patterns are easy to understand and you can beat him fast. Perfect blocking his attacks is really satisfying. Also, beating bro just for Geppetto to roast you in the end is pretty funny. Number 1, Laxasia the Complete. Laxasia is still the strongest. Girl power, let's go. But knowing her moveset and taking advantage of it makes it really easier to deal with her. Even when she takes her armor off, it's still easy. It's easier to block her than it is to dodge, just like almost everything in this game if you know you know. Just get mommy out and there we go. So that's it. If you don't agree with anything I've said, let me know and comment who you think is the hardest. I've also gotten all Steam achievements on the game, so yeah, feels good. See ya around.